All right, guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you the best OBS settings for multi streaming. This is important because if you mess up your settings, guys, and you're streaming to multiple platforms, your stress level is going to go super high and your viewers are not going to get a good experience. So the first thing, as you can see, I have OBS open right now. You want to make sure you actually go to settings now. For the purpose of this video, we're going to be setting up for YouTube and Facebook. But if you follow the same concept, you can actually apply it to any platform. We go to settings in OBS. This is the main settings that we're going to be using as the base kind of reference for the multi streaming as well. All right. So we're going to go. We want to make sure we go to the output tab and then we go to streaming. All right. And then obviously you guys can go ahead and copy my settings, but you want to make sure you your audio encoder. You don't need to touch it. Video encoder. If you have a dedicated graphics card, chances are you're going to have nvidia nvec h264 if you don't you can use x264 so make sure you choose this and then rescale output just leave it the way it is just make sure it's disabled you don't have you don't need to do anything encoder settings this is the key right you want to go to encoder settings make sure you choose constant bit rate again another thing you also want to make sure your output mode is set to advanced before you even you know to get access to all of this okay so if you can have this make sure this is set to advanced and then uh next thing you uh, actually want to make sure you go to beat rate now because the first stream usually i want to set the kind of main to be youtube right so youtube can take if you're streaming in 1080p can take up to 10,000, right if you're streaming in 1080p 30 frames per second now if you're gaming you want to set it to 1080p uh 60 frames per second but for talking here like what i'm doing just 10,000 kbps all right should be good okay and then keyframe interval you want to make sure it's set to two seconds and then preset here you can actually play with this but mostly slow good quality should be the happy medium okay or if you want you can go slower better quality so basically this is gonna play with the your processor and the actual stream that's going to the quality of the stream that's going to produce so i always keep it a good quality but you can play with it and see if you're getting any issues now tuning everything else guys just keep it the way it is here you can just copy my settings or whatever i have on screen and it should be good to go now hit apply the next thing we're gonna go to we're gonna go to video now for video you want to make sure base canvas is 1920 by 1080 and output resolution 1920 by 1080 also another thing of course this is where you can change your frame rate again if you're gaming you can choose 60 frames per second if you are uh, just doing uh talking here just keep it at 30 and that's pretty much it now before we set up our stream uh, you want to make sure now we're going to go to the Atom multi stream. Again, if you don't have this plugin, you can go to atom.tv and you can go, you can actually download it here and install it. It's going to show up under docs here and make sure Atom multi stream is actually enabled and it should be good. So, what you need to do is you need to go to this settings kind of icon. And um, what you need to do, since we're going to be streaming to Facebook, I'm going to go ahead and remove this one right here. I'm going to add a new one, all right, a new main canvas output, and I'm going to choose Facebook, all right? And then for this, uh, the output name, you can call it whatever you want. We're going to just leave it Facebook output. And then Facebook server URL is going to be already there. And of course, you need to enter your Facebook stream key, all right? So we're going to go ahead and just enter uh, the stream key right now. Uh, which is right now i already have it ready and then once you have your stream key just hit create output now once you have your your output created you can go to advanced settings now the reason why we need to change this is because if you want to stream to youtube using 10 megabits per second facebook the maximum you can actually take is 6 megabits per second so this is where you either have to compromise if you want to use this video encoder settings that says main encoder basically this little multi-streaming plugin is gonna bring the settings that we just set up in the main obs settings however since we put it higher than what facebook can take this is where we actually have to set it up manually so we're gonna go ahead and choose video encoder and then choose nvidia nvec h264 all right and then fps 30 just keep your original and then uh, rate control constant bit rate and then bit rate here we're gonna go ahead and choose change to 6000 all right and then keyframe interval we can do exactly like what we have back in youtube for everything else all right 
preset you can keep it slow good quality tuning everything else guys you can leave it the way it is b frame you can leave it at two and then boom you are good to go so now we have our facebook setup and youtube setup now if you wanted to compromise instead of using ten thousand here you can actually use six thousand here as i just said and you can actually back in our canvas in our multi-stream platform on facebook you can use the same settings and then here instead of using nvidia you can actually choose main encoder settings now to determine if you are to compromise or not it's gonna depend on your internet speed now if you have over 20 megabits per second of upload speed you should be good to actually use the premium settings that i just showed you guys so 10,000 for youtube and 6,000 for facebook and all you gotta do just do a quick internet speed test here in google and make your decision now guys if you look closely this a2 multi-stream plugin can actually allow streaming in horizontal and vertical mode so if you want to do something like streaming on instagram you can actually do that however you're gonna need completely different settings and the way you're gonna set that up in obs is gonna be completely different and if you're interested in vertical streaming you want to make sure you check out this video right here and i'll see you there guys take care